Hello, this is your channel Sosa NASA One in English. My name is Emmanuel, and now I'm going to show you how to test these capacitors here using this digital multimeter. In this case, we are going to use this digital multimeter to test this capacitor and this capacitor using the Farad's modes. Now, let's to do it. It's very easy. The first step is for security, discharge the capacitors. How I do it? Very easy. In this case, take the red cable and touch with the pull pull cable in this way. Ready. Now take the red cable and touch with the yellow cable. Ready. Now it's safe. Touch this and this with my hand. It's safe because this capacitor now isn't energized. Now let's to do this in the other capacitor. In this. Take the red cable and touch with the yellow cable. In this way. Now, touch the red cable with the blue cable, in this way. Now, it's safe, touch here, touch here, with my finger, it's safe. Now, this capacitor hasn't energy inside, it means it's safe to test. And this other capacitor hasn't energy inside, it means this capacitor is safe to connect to multimeter. Now, the next step is set up this digital multimeter. This is very easy. This digital multimeter has different modes. This is one, this is other, this is other, other. In this case, the most important mode for us is this. If you see this symbol, this is the capacitor symbol, in this case. We only need to choose this, moving the selector, in this way. Moving, moving, and ready. Now, we need to choose the mode inside this mode. This is very easy. We only need to watch the screen. In this case, this symbol is diode mode. And with this button, I can change between the modes. Press here. This is the continuity mode. And this is the Farad mode. This is for test capacitor. Now our digital multimeter is ready. Perfect. Let's test the first capacitor. This. It's very important to read the information on the capacitor. In this case, in this part. This is a double capacitor. How I know? Very easy. If you watch here, the red cable with the yellow cable is one capacitor and must have 1.5 microfarads. And the combination of the red cable with the purple cable must have 2.5 microfarads. Using this like reference, we are going to test this capacitor, measuring how many microfarads has this capacitor using this digital multimeter. In this screen, we are going to watch how many microfarads has each line of this capacitor. This is very easy. Our digital multimeter now is ready. Subscribe in our channel, Sosa NASA One in English here on YouTube.
Thank you. For begin the test, we only need to take the red tip and touch with the cable in this way. Okay. And now let's watch on the multimeter screen. I'm going to touch in this case, let me see the red cable with the pulpur cable. And this combination must have 2.5 microfarads. Touch here and watch on the multimeter screen. In this case, this combination, if you watch on the multimeter screen, is 2.53 microfarads. It means it's almost the same number that is on the capacitor. That is 2.5 microfarads. And the multimeter screen has 2.5. It means this capacitor is good because the leaf microfarad is almost the same that we have on the capacitor. Okay, this capacitor is good. Now let's test the other capacitor. The other capacitor is the red cable with the yellow cable. I'm going to touch now here and watch on the multimeter screen. In this case, this combination, the red cable with the yellow cable, must have 1.5 microfarads. In this case, the number on the multimeter is 1.5 microfarads. It means it's the same. It means this capacitor is good. In this case, these two capacitors are working correctly. This capacitor is good. In base of our test that we did with this digital multimeter. And in this way, you can test a capacitor using this digital multimeter. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here in our channel, Susana Sawang in English. Give me a like, a share this video, and thank you for watching. See you next time.